<laughs> oh! I didn't see you there. I'm, uh, I'm just ray tracing. Let's kick it back to Monday. The announcement you've been waiting for is finally here. Your palms begin to get sweaty. You're getting all flustered. And then you finally hear it. RTX confirmed. You're excited. But wait, there's more you tell yourself. You're all aboard that NVIDIA hype train. They start explaining RT cores, and you had no idea what this was. And there's more going on. And because you're just so damn excited, you, you find yourself chanting, Jensen, Jensen, Jensen. As all these new NVIDIA terms flow through one ear and out the next, it sounds like you need to listen up for our RTX breakdown. All right, so this is a story that takes us back to yesteryear of 2016. We had the 1080 hype. And you may remember the term Pascal cards for the 10 series as well as the new 900 series Maxwell. The new series in this time is called Turing cards for the 2070, 2080, and 2080 Ti. So when they refer to Turing architecture, it's the name for the new way the graphics cards are designed, CUDA cores. So a CUDA core is essentially a very tiny gear that receives input from the game program and does some calculations. Then it sends back the result back to the PC, creates some, an image. More CUDA cores means these are processed difficult things and extremely quick to process simple things pretty sweet. Now let's take that time machine from yesterday back to 2018 or current day and talk about the Tensor Core and RT Core. They're dedicated workers for very specific tasks. So first up is the RT Core or Ray Trace Core. It's for light and shadow effects. And the Tensor Core, well, that's for everything else. It's essentially a tool for machine learning and other future neural network based research. Smart game AI essentially. As well, we have the Turing streaming multiprocessor for objects, shading, and other execution. What else makes this crazy is the fact that the cards have GDDR6. So let's talk a little more about what GDDR is quickly for you guys. So GDDR is like DDR RAM for your motherboard, but for your graphic video stuff. DDR stands for double data rate. It's like having four wheels on a vehicle instead of only two. Pretty sweet. DDR is used to hold things and execute commands. Think of this as a pool of resources that you can fill up and, and spend. So Turing uses the new GDDR6 type of VRAM for smaller and better, faster effects. Note, GDDR5 has been used in graphics cards for almost a decade. So now we're on to GDDR6. Crazy. Also, if you have any remote interest in VR, this is some big news for you as well. If you guys didn't notice on the card, there's a fancy little USB Type-C slot in there. So, in case you missed it a few weeks ago, we kind of touched base on this, was essentially all the manufacturers for VR, like the big guns came in, Intel, AMD, Nvidia, all the processors, all those fancy dudes, they all came together and they agreed on a unified design. So, VR in the future is gonna be USB Type-C. So that's what you're gonna start seeing on the video cards here. So it's pretty cool. So if you just bought yourself a GTX 1080 or a GTX 1080 Ti and want to experience the future of gaming with ray tracing and of course, all this fancy neural network processing, then yes, upgrade. So it comes down to benchmarks. We'll have to wait to see when those come out. I hope they'll be getting a card soon as well so we can actually show you guys how this card's gonna perform. I'm pretty excited to see how it goes against Maxwell and Pascal. Also, we just have information on the 2080 and 2080 Ti. We're still waiting on the 2070 and the lower end cards. So there's still a lot to happen guys before we make any big decisions. So who knows? Maybe it will be a big performance jump. Who knows if it's gonna be a giant increase. I'm just excited to see how it runs. So. What do you guys think? Are you guys as excited as I am? So now that we know a little more about the GeForce RTX capabilities and the for deep learning and AI, this story is a little bit of foreshadowing as our artistic robot overlords <laughs> are showing their artistic capabilities. An artist from the University of Wellington in New Zealand is on a quest to make art from the point of view that an algorithm would see. His goal in all this is making a voice from the machine speak. No, sir. No, thank you. I've seen iRobot. I know what happens next. Professor White has made a series of algorithms called Perception Engine. Essentially, he compiles a bunch of images, distills them, throws them to abstract shapes, and feeds them into a computer to see if they can recognize the abstract shapes. What's most interesting about this is he's teaching the algorithm how to see objects in abstraction. We'll see if the future computers start making their own art. Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe it won't be a saga from Dragon Ball or iRobot, and they'll see us as beautiful art projects that want to protect us instead of these lesser beings that need to be destroyed. All right, guys, we got some Facebook social media news today so we're gonna dive right into so you don't have to be on Facebook too much longer. Facebook is trying hard to avoid the fake news generator and has created a Black Mirror-ass rating system. Ah! Facebook didn't release everything that goes into this rating system, but they did say if you rate news stories as true and later be found false, 
your score will go down. However, if you can weed out the fake stories, your score is going to go up. This will hopefully stop people from reporting news that they disagree with or just hate because it's in fact true. Sounds like a good idea, but applying ratings to humans is just not the same as applying it to your favorite coffee shop. And kind of dangerous. Also, you can always get away from the news from Facebook land and come get it at the weekly bite. Now this is a story we don't need next day prime to ship you. We can just do same day shipping. <laughs> right now your Amazon Prime account includes free Twitch Prime, which essentially grants you ad-free experience on the platform and ability to give one of your favorite broadcasters a subscription. The upcoming changes they are making will now take away the universal ad-free part of the program for any Amazon Prime users. <sighs> but not all is lost, guys, as you guys can subscribe to Twitch Turbo for the low price of $8.99 a month or $108 for the year. So you don't need to have Amazon Prime for this, guys. You can actually, you know, just continue your account if you choose so. So if you still want the ad-free experience, it's nine bucks a month for USD, essentially. Or if you want to continue using Amazon Prime, you're more than welcome to do that. If you want to keep up with your benefits, such as the free games and other benefits that they're saying they're going to keep doing. So there's supposed to be new perks coming and other bonuses that kind of keep you guys all happy. So in the end, it's like Marvel Civil War. Are you going to be an Amazon Prime user and trust in the system? Or are you going to be like, nope, I'm going to go with an ad-free experience and have no more Prime. Or are you going to have both? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below and what you guys think about these big changes. There, there, sweet little mouse. You'll get better one day. No. No, you won't. Don't worry about it. We got some news about Logitech's new G Pro mouse coming out soon. Logitech has officially announced their all new G Pro gaming mouse. This mouse isn't for the faint of heart. So if you are a hardcore esports enthusiast, this mouse is for you as they spent the last two years. That's right, Logitech has put in the time guys. Two years with over 50 esports consultations to make the perfect gaming mouse for you. Some Overwatch League pros have actually used this mouse before it even came out for us. So that's pretty sweet. That tells you what Logitech is doing for eSports. Some things you guys need to know, it has one millisecond response time with its new wireless light speed, their most accurate sensor date with the Hero 16K, and an ultra lightweight body with an 80 gram shell. Rest assured guys, Logitech took steps to make sure that you guys be taken care of when it comes to long marathon gaming or tournaments, as the battle life on this guy has over 60 hours on a single charge. And that's without the RGB lighting on. With RGB lighting, it's 40, so maybe play without no lights, guys. Pretty sweet mouse, I'd say. All right, guys, welcome to the last bit of the show with Memory Express news. So we're gonna talk about the RTX printers. So if you guys are ordering any of the cards, the 2080s, 2080Ti's, coming out to see any of our sales reps to be glad to help you out with that. No deposit is required in store. As right now, we're not sure of the pricing, how it's gonna fluctuate with the US currency, uh, tariffs as well, and finalized pricing on the cards. However, if you guys do order online, a full payment is required right off the bat. However, do not worry, that is fully refundable if you choose to cancel as well. If the price adjusts, you will get a refund based on that. Of course, it's also my favorite time of the show where I tell you about all the sweet things you guys can win. Haha, <laughs> I was able to hold all of them this week because I trained vigorously all week to do this, guys. But don't forget about MEXP, guys, as we are coming down to the last 10 days of the month, which means it's the last 10 days to win all these. Ooh, why mind the lighting there? All these wonderful prizing. It's like we got a uh, RTX, some RT cores going on here. Look, look at this. Oh, I can't do it. Can't replicate it. RT cores confirmed in the studio. Oh, there we go. There you go. Um, so guys, there you have it. We got some sweet stuff from our friends at HyperX. You guys can just be participating in the community. So make sure you guys are commenting on the video, sharing feedback. We love to hear from you. Get a hold of us on social media. That is it. It's super easy to win. Just comment. We have three prizes, three winners. Pretty sweet. But wait, there's more. Can't wink. So you guys may have noticed we made some changes to the channel. We got wonderful cinematography going on right now. A lot of cool stuff going on as well. And of course we want to reward our loyal audience. Well, we are announcing our 25K sub goal. We're giving away the BenQ TK800 projector we reviewed not too long ago on the channel. So you guys have a chance to win literally a $2,000 projector. And I mean, once we hit 25K, we'll be doing the contest. Then you guys are already entered just by using a sub. So it's super easy. Just be part of this community, share, subscribe, get the videos out there. Help us get to 25K guys. As soon as we do that, we'll be giving someone a projector, hopefully in time for Christmas. So that's my goal guys. Let's hit 25K before the end of the year. That's it for this week, guys. I'm Steve from Memory Express. Make sure you guys are following us on our social media. So 
on Twitter and Facebook, just Memory Express. On Instagram, official Memory Express. So, thank you again, guys. I will see you guys Friday. Bing bong. It's art.